today I'm going to be turning this really nice 16 segment stepped helical laser cut pin blank. It was designed by Kenneth Wines and it's for sale by Rick Cobb. I will put a link to uh, the website where you can buy these uh, in the description to this video. There are numerous different laser cut blanks and they are all fantastic. The woods in this blank are Osage Orange, Walnut, Sycamore, Cherry, Red Heart, Sapile, Maple, and Zebra Wood. This blank came pre-assembled and with rubber bands around it to hold everything in place. What I'm going to do is flood the blank with some CA glue to really hold the pieces together and also to kind of fill, I'm running along the crack where the two pieces meet because that does go all the way to the tube and we want to make sure we fill that in. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to have um, a little gap between your pieces and we want to fill as much of that as possible. We could take care of some of it when we're finishing, but uh, why not go ahead and fill it now and uh, reduce what we have to do at finish time. After I get this blank completely flooded with CA, I'm just going to rotate it by hand for about a minute to two minutes and then we'll come back and uh, hit it with the uh, activator to really lock everything in place right before we begin turning. All right, we've made it all the way around the blank. I'm just going to keep the blank rotating by hand. The reason why I rotate the blank is if you don't, the CA will all pool on the bottom and when you hit it with the activator, you're going to have these nice CA blisters, I'll call them, all over the bottom of the blank. What I'm trying to do is reduce that. I'll still get some of those little CA blisters, but uh, hopefully it'll just be one or two at random spots and they'll be easy to turn away. I paused the video while I was rotating the blank uh, to keep the CA from pooling, only because I didn't want you to have to watch two minutes of me rotating a blank. It's kind of like watching glue dry. Um, it looks really good. You can see it's starting to show dry areas. That means the CA is really soaked in. I'm gonna go ahead now and hit it with a little uh, activator and we're gonna lock everything in place. All right, we are ready to turn. I paused turning for just a minute. Um, the CA, you can see right there some dots of CA. It had started to soak in and cure. I hit it with the activator, which cured the outside layer, but deep down in the blank between the pieces, there was still some damp CA and it began splattering out. You can see it all over my skew on both sides. So we're gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna go strop my skew and what'll happen is that'll give the blank, now that it is, expo is exposed to air, that CA will continue to dry and uh, we should be in good shape to finish turning. This blank looks really, really nice. I'm gonna hit it with one coat of thin CA. We'll let that dry naturally and then we'll come back and begin sanding our blank. She looks pretty good even with just one coat of CA on there. Let's get her sanded. Pay close attention to this blank between the segments. Notice the white dust, that's sanding dust. I want to very carefully clean this blank and very thoroughly. Otherwise that dust will be below your CA finish and you'll see it forever and it'll look ugly. The blank has had plenty of time to dry. I brought an acetate brush over. We do not want to touch the blank with our fingers once we've cleaned it because oils will transfer and they can leave white marks under your CA. What I'm looking for is towel dust I'm getting rid of that and pay close attention where the blank meets the bushing. And I'm also looking for any sanding dust. The blank actually cleaned up really nice. I'm not seeing any issues, but we just use this brush to uh, remove anything we might see. We are ready to apply CA. I'm going to do a standard regimen on this blank. Five coats thin, five coats medium. We'll come back, take a look at the blank. And I'm sure with these uh, pieces being separate segments all the way down to the tube, that we will have some low areas and we'll probably have to apply just a little bit more CA to level everything up. But we'll address that when the time comes. I must have done a really nice job of uh, putting CA on this blank in the beginning. 
because I'm not seeing any issues with uh, divots between the pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and polish this blank up with a little bit of Renaissance wax. We'll buff it on the buffing wheels and we will meet at the assembly table. We are ready to assemble our blank into a kit. And again today, I'm gonna use one of my favorite kits. This is the Elegant Monarch in gunmetal and chrome from Classic Nib. I'll put their information in the video description. This is far and away my favorite kit. This is the Joshua band. And you'll notice this one has a circular band. They also sell one that has a cross band, which is incredibly beautiful. Before we assemble this, once again, I'm gonna to go to my deburring tool and I'm gonna chamfer the inside edges of my blank. Clean it out with a little brush here to make sure there are no um, brass fibers in there. And we will pop our clip and cap onto the blank and uh, get it pressed together. I'm pressing and rotating at the same time, and that enables me to press the uh, cap squarely into the pin. And you can see we have a perfect fit with our cap. Nib assembly is incredibly easy on these uh, Monarchs. You simply remove the ball from your ink refill. Spring many times will come on the refill. If not, you'll slide it on, put it into your nib, and uh, thread your transmission. And after you thread the transmission, you always want to work it to work that grease into the uh, mechanism. Make sure everything's tight. And we're going to slide that into the body of our pen. And as simple as that, we have a gorgeous pen that is going to command attention from anyone who sees it. I'm turning a very large number of these uh, laser cut blanks. And I have to say the stepped helical blank is one of my favorites. Uh, I just like the uh, look of the strips of wood. I've turned many blanks or I've made many custom blanks that have just strips laminated together. But this one has the little jagged steps and it just really makes it jump. I also like all of the different woods uh, in the blank. I think it's absolutely incredible. Uh, please consider trying one of these laser cut blanks. I think you'll love it. It will up your pin game and when people see it, They'll think you're lying when you say you made it. I want to thank you guys for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.